My name is Holly Forbes and I'm the curator at the University of California Botanical Garden at Berkeley. We're members of the Center for Plant Conservation, which is a national consortium of gardens and arboreta dedicated to preventing extinction of plants in the United States. And we really started out by simply seed banking materials of rare and endangered species in case something would happen to them. But over time we've segued into trying to augment those populations or to create new ones because many of the species we work with are restricted now to one population, sometimes one individual. And you might ask, well, why? So what? You know, things go extinct naturally uh, through an evolutionary process. But as um, humans have taken over the globe in, in large numbers, the rate of extinction has gone up exponentially. And we don't really want it to be on our watch when things go extinct. We would like to give them the benefit of a chance to keep going. And part of it is that every component of the ecosystem plays a role. Just because we don't right now understand what that role is doesn't mean that it's not important. And at some point, if we lose enough pieces from each ecosystem, it may just collapse and not function at all. And that's not good for us. So we will go out into habitat and observe both the natural and the introduced populations at a timetable, kind of time to what the plants are doing. Baker's Larkspur is a perennial herb grows up a stem, several leaves. By early to mid-April, it's flowering. It was described as a species in 1942. At the time, it was disappearing, mostly because of a habitat conversion. The areas in western Marin County where it grew were being converted to largely cattle pasture, which was not suitable habitat for the larkspur. And the only remaining site has been badly damaged by roadside maintenance, but there was also a wildfire at the site. That was pretty devastating. We've developed an agreement with Marin Municipal Water District in Western Marin in the vicinity of Sulahuli Reservoir, and we've been working to find what we believe are suitable sites to introduce plants into that area. We've put 40 plants out from 20 different mothers, and we keep a record of which mothers are represented so that we can add to them as we have material available and as we decide whether the site is suitable. And then we planted two more sites with 35 plants each. With the perennials, like the larkspurs, um, it's gonna take several years before we know whether those seedlings are gonna keep going and flower. So we'll, we'll be keeping tabs on them for many years to come. We hope we will know in three to five years if those seedlings are going to flower and contribute to that population. So, you know, we're learning as we go and seeing how the sites differ. We keep careful data on kind of how robust the plants are and how many flowers they produce. And that will help guide us to make decisions about whether to keep trying at that site or just write it off and go somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs>